Master. Hey there, welcome back to Mastering Kingdom Master. This is lesson number two on how to make a cool intro like the one that you just watched. Number one, you might wanna watch first. If you're working and you want the project file, it's down below. This is the one where I'm gonna show you how to change the text in this. You can use that one on your own or talking about cool text effects and how to use text in an intro. So remember, like and subscribe. Join me on the other side for part two of this demonstration of how to make your own cool intro. I will see you over there. Let's start making our font look good. I use all caps to keep the heights consistent. I'm gonna go ahead and select a different font. The font that you want to use is a bold font. Black is really good. Uh, any of the bigger fonts, so I found this one that kind of matches the theme I have going on here. It's kind of a Lord of the Rings type of thing. So we're also going to go ahead and we're going to add an outline to it. Initially to show you this stuff, I'm going to make it black, but I'm going to lower the weight of the outline a little bit. Now let's go and talk about what makes some really cool tricks is using blending modes. So if you've seen my blending mode video before, you know it's a way for things to interact with each other. So overlay looks interesting here, but isn't that great? But just so you know, overlay, what it does is it makes kind of like both the black and the white semi-transparent, but here you can't really see everything that great. So what I want to show you is actually going into another blending mode. And first, let's go ahead and change some things here. Let's change the font color to black. All right, and we're going to change the font color to black, and then we're going to change the outline to white. Let's do that and move that. And now let's go ahead and lower that even more. And this is the blending mode that I really like here is go back into the blending mode menu and change this over to screen. And what this does is it makes a knockout. And so you can see that there is an outline. So you can turn any font in KineMaster into an outline font by making a white outline and changing it to screen mode. Now I'm going to show you one last other thing is working with glow. I find glow to be really cool actually to make kind of like a second outline. I'm going to change the color to be my green Lord of the Rings color, get rid of the red there, bump the green up a little bit and say like that. And now if you change, increase the size, you get something actually that starts looking like a secondary outline there. I'm sorry, that's the spread and so you make this kind of into a secondary outline for our uh, mastering board. And let's go ahead and do a couple of different things with text options. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to skip out for a second and add a second line of text. Now this specific project doesn't work with two lines of text, but I did want to show you some things in text options. So for this project, you want to make sure that your text is aligned left in the text option. But for here for a second, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the center because I want to show you two things is that one is that this character actually spaces out the letters with width in between them. And also this menu scrolls up and down. And if you are using two lines, you can bring the lines closer together. I didn't know about this for the longest time. So I thought it might be nice to show you because it makes having two lines of text kind of look better in there. So we would go ahead and delete the second line and make sure that we're aligned left before we move on to the next part. I've removed the second line of text and now we're going to talk about bookmarking the beat. Bookmarking is easier done in this view and there's two ways to do it. You could either tap it the way that I've shown in other videos or you can find out where the beats are by looking. Now if you can see where in the audio file that that big spike is, that is a drum hit. This one's also going to be a drum hit. In between then you can find the areas for it as you listen to it but really when you first look you're going to put bookmarks where the drum hits are. Now you stretch it out far to get them accurate. The more accurate you are the better that this is going to be. So remember bookmarking I'm not going to put one here really but I'm just you tap it or you untap it to get get rid of it. So I went ahead and I pre-bookmarked this and then you can take a listen and watch where the purple guys hit. And the more on beat the bookmarks are, the better it's going to look, but you can also fix it afterwards because what we're going to do is we're going to use the bookmark navigation right here. We start by going to the first bookmark. We'll actually go to the second bookmark after that, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and we're going to cut 
split at the playhead and we're gonna go through all the bookmarks and I'm gonna fast forward this and do it in fast motion. To make it clear what we're doing here, we are chopping up this layer on the beats from the bookmarks into multiple copies of the same word and then we're gonna change the word to animate the letters. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete letters from this. This is gonna be the M and we had aligned our text to the left so that that makes sure that when we have the letters that they will stay in place next to each other and they just fill in after each other. So now I'm gonna speed it up and finish the rest while you guys watch. And to make clear what we're doing here again, we are removing letters piece by piece of the text layer. So each cut up version has one more letter than the last one did. And we just move forward using our bookmarks to get to the next one until we wind up with our final word. You can also animate your first character in with the swoosh once you have it all cut up. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna use keyframes on this and this is where it will land. Add a keyframe there, bring it back here and stretch it out really big so it comes in fast and hard on the swoosh. And let's go ahead and play it and check out how it came out. And there you have your new Beat Synced Mastering coming in. All right, so that wraps up part two. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you have suggestions, anything, including the conversation, let's just keep talking about it. Come back to see part three, where we wrap it, get done, and get it up on our sites. I will see you the next time. <laughs> Can the master.